LGBTQ plus uh, youth have a disproportionately higher percentage of risk toward homelessness than other communities. And we're not the only vulnerable community. As much as we witness this, what a tearing the shit out of society that's going on right now, um, imagine how much more vulnerable marginalized communities youth are and how many more are becoming homeless either on their own or with family members and how many of them are at threat all of them actually just about are at threat of being processed into the sex trade being vulnerable to the predatory individuals in different communities that are involved with human trafficking and this is a big issue. This is a really big issue. I can't even imagine what it would be like to have been homeless when I was a teen. I mean, it was pretty scary my teen years living in a loving, stable household. I mean, we were poor, but my parents were really good parents and they took good care of us. And frankly, I didn't know that we were poor because we always had a safe place to live and a good car and plenty to eat. My parents did a really good job, but not everybody has that experience. Adults and children alike, and we know that homeless teens are vulnerable to sex traffickers. Um, we know that anyone that is displaced is vulnerable to aggressive criminal elements. And what better time than now when society seems to be disintegrating in places to try to rebuild a better place for the future. And that's really one of the reasons why I want to get into farming. Uh, I've always wanted to be a farmer. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I, the older I get, the more I see how sacred a calling it is to grow clean food for people. Now, I grew up around farming my whole life. I uh, spent a lot of vacation summers on a dairy farm in uh, southwest Colorado and Texas, different farms, and my parents were both raised in farms. We always had gardens and chickens. And I've studied organic agriculture and actually took a swing at it back in the 90s. I've been studying it since about, I don't know, 1994. And I really know what I'm talking about, and I really know what I'm doing. Um, and I would like to use those skills and my passion and create a, a community a retreat, a recovery retreat, a community where people can work and earn a really good living, working fewer hours, and take care of each other, learn how to take care of each other, and learn how to help each other to heal. Because we see the results of not having a society that is designed that way. And the only way we're going to change that without total destruction or anarchy, which, you know, Anarchy is an interesting political theory, but in practice, humans, I don't think, are particularly disciplined or smart enough for that system to work in uh, any kind of practical sense. So if we're going to build a society where we all can live and breathe and enjoy and love and grow and express our love and our spirituality and learn to utilize our strength in that vulnerability, we're going to have to build that place for ourselves. And that's basically what I want to do. Uh, so, you know, I'm asking for a handout here, but I'm asking you to support a sort of ministry, a sort of communal ministry where we can learn in baby steps to build a society that does not eat us all up and then spit us out. We have to make the physical effort. I mean, spiritual training is great. I'm enjoying so much having access to TikTok before it goes away. I've, I've been able to find so many new tools and, and learn new ways to express myself spiritually and learn that there are a lot of people out there, a whole hell of a lot of people out there, very similar to me. And uh, before that all goes away, I want to take advantage of this open forum and start building a, a community, not, not just one place, but a community that uh, is a support for expanding the concept, either as a cooperative corporation or 
just some uh, other form of cooperative endeavor, endeavors that help build urban and rural and all sorts of communities all around this country and the world that make it safe for us to be human. That's the problem. It's not safe for a lot of us to just be human. And we've got to change that. Like I said, the spiritual practice is great. But unless we bring it into the physical world, it's like, you know, having ayahuasca or, or MDNA, MDMA or whatever, Molly or <laughs> mushrooms or anything, any kind of high experience. Uh, in order for it to be useful, what we gain from those experiences, we have to bring it back into sobriety. And it's the same way in our spiritual practice that we have to bring that back into chopping wood and carrying water, into the practical aspects of our everyday life. And that's the kind of community I want to build. And we can't do it. I can't do it unless you guys help me fund it. Because I'm a poor old white man, getting poorer and older, and not getting whiter because my Cherokee grandmama give me her skin jeans so I get pretty dark in the sun um, but time <laughs> time <laughs> time is the essence here so that's why I'm on here uh, asking uh, for your support and it doesn't just have to be monetary support uh, you know I'm not going to be able to do this on my own I don't have a degree in in psychology or therapy and if it's going to end up being a community that will house youths at risk it's going to have to follow the law in that regard and have licensed professionals so if you're interested in being involved in the organization of it and maybe participating especially if you're some kind of licensed professional therapist uh, if you know about farming, if you want to live in that environment, I don't have to do this on my own. I, of course, want my own space and all this to live. It, you know, I want to farm, but I want to build a community. So if you can help financially, that'd be horrific. And if you uh, have some ideas or like to be an advisor or support in another way, I'm open to that as well. So, uh, you know, like this, share this, comment on this, and get it rolling around TikTok. And that'll be a lot of help. And if you got, you know, five bucks, and you can skip the Starbucks, well, that would be ten bucks, wouldn't it? Donate. The money will be well spent. It's a good project, and if you take a look at... Uh, some of the photos of the property I'm interested in getting this going on. It's a beautiful fucking space. All kinds of income earning potential, which will create work for, I think, very well paid work for a significant group of people. In my business plan, I think, for the size of place, I think support a really healthy living for up to, I don't know, maybe 20 people. 15 to 20 people, maybe 14 to 20 people, something like that. And my idea of full-time work, you know, in farming, sometimes you work 150,000 hours in a week and sometimes you can just spot check. Well, you know, there are always gonna be animals and stuff to take care of. But my goal is that the long work week would be 30 hours, so on the weeks, you work more and then less, whatever. I think pe people need time just to think and breathe and live life and do other charitable work and do their crafts and hobbies and art and write or drive motorcycles. Whatever makes living on this planet worthwhile for them, that's a kind of economic system that I want to develop. And I don't think it's pie in the sky. I think it's very economically feasible. So if you're interested, hit me up, message me, and donate, please. I'd appreciate it very much. Love you. I love you. And you love you too, please. You love you too. Hit me up. Leave a message. Donate, 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 donate. I mean money. Don't be dirty.